Uh, hey, this is uh, my unboxing and a review of The Hobbit on 3D Blu-ray. As you can see, it's got that cool uh, 3D cover. And the stickers, if you don't like them like I don't, they peel off real easy. Don't leave any of that goo behind. That's important to me. Uh, inside the cover is the same as the outside. And here you'll see we've got a couple of inserts. We've got an insert advertising a uh, noble collection. You can order things like uh, the One Ring, um, you know, like a smog pendant, that kind of stuff. You also got an insert here for the March 24th uh, online premiere of uh, exclusive footage from the Desolation of Smog. Um, and it's the same code as your ultraviolet copy code. So this comes with an ultraviolet copy. For those of you who don't hate ultraviolet, for those of you who do, well, it's Warner Brothers, you know. Uh, we've got the 3D version of the movie split over two discs. So there's a part one and a part two to give ample space for uh, the movie to have the best picture and sound quality. Um, it also has a regular 2D Blu-ray of the film on one disc. So if you're not into, if you don't feel like doing 3D or, or for whatever reason, you've got the 2D version of the film here. Um, and there's a fourth disc that has um, all the special features. The special features are about two hours worth of production blogs that were uh, released online um, throughout the production leading up to the premiere. So if you were a fan following that, you've seen all of that material already. Um, if you weren't following all that, well, it would be new to you. And either way, it's in high definition and stored on a nice little disc, so you don't have to be looking them up on YouTube or if they ever get taken down. Um, and they're in, of course, high definition quality. Um, there's also about six trailers uh, for the movie and three trailers for the video games. Uh, we also have the DVD version of the film. Um, for those of you who want to have a copy lying around or to, I don't know, I like to re-gift them, but maybe you're going to go on a road trip. Uh, you can pop it in your DVD player in your minivan to keep the kids occupied. Now, the actual movie itself the 2D picture is, I would go as far as say reference quality, um, flawless images, uh, no artifacts or, or anything weird, crystal clear imagery, um, and it really shows off the special effects in the film. Also, uh, the 3D version of the film is also, I would say, I would go as far as say reference quality. Um, there was a couple of uh, shots here and there where I did notice a little bit of ghosting. But it was like two or three shots towards the second half of the movie. And out of two hour and 45 minutes to have a couple of shots with a little bit of ghosting or crosstalk is, is no big deal. Uh, it's like having a window to Middle Earth, you know, in your living room. So uh, I definitely recommend it for the picture quality. And uh, the sound, of course, is amazing. Um, the film itself, um, I love it, obviously. Um, I think it's a great movie with... Uh, you know, very interesting characters, a good story, and a good setup for the other movies to come. Uh, so if you haven't bought this version uh, because you're expecting uh, extended an extended edition to come out in December, that's cool because uh, more than likely we'll be getting an extended edition uh, in time for the holidays this year. Uh, those of us who are completists and want both versions, I'd say it's worth picking up just to have the film um, in both the theatrical and extended editions. Uh, for when you don't have, you know, three and a half hours. So, well, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I highly recommend The, the Hobbit in 3D Blu-ray uh, if you can't wait until holidays to get the extended edition. All right, thanks a lot.